Hey folks, Shannon here, here, and I am here with the first ever run update. Um, I'm, I'm doing this because I'm actually uh, training, uh, getting in shape more importantly, but training because I'm putting together what is called the Cancer Warrior Foundation, and uh, it's going to be a foundation that raises money for cancer, and more importantly, um, uh, lung cancer to, to help fight, fight lung cancer. And I thought, what, what a better way to do that than to get out there and run and use the lungs to help raise money and eventually put together uh, events and things of that nature. But first, um, with anything, it's a process, and the process begins with a goal, and the first goal is get in shape and get in running shape. You see, I hate running. <laughs> yeah, as crazy as that sounds. Uh, the only time I ran for an extended period of time was while I was in the military, the infantry actually, and they made us run every single day, like four miles a day. I was pretty good at it, but I hated it. Um, now, I'm in absolutely horrible running shape, and I'm trying to get back into shape, and it takes one step at a time, one small uh, step, step each and every day. And uh, I want to keep you guys up on that progress and um, let you know exactly what I'm doing. So I want to give you some stats on my run today. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do this every day, every other day, uh, depending on how, how it goes off. But um, my run was 2.01 miles. I think it was a little bit longer because I think uh, Run Keeper is a little bit off on the route I took. Um, but 2.01 miles, it took me 23.57 uh, seconds, don't laugh, I know it's slow, um, and that's an average pace of 11 minutes and 54 seconds a mile. I burnt 391 calories and my average heart rate is uh, was 162 and my goal on these runs is to keep my heart rate in between 162 or 160 to 165 beats per minute is my target heart rate on these runs. Actually, uh, according to my watch, it's 145 to 165, but I like to narrow that down a little bit and keep it in between 160 and 165. Um, so, um, how am I keeping track of everything? Well, first of all, I'm using my iPhone uh, on the runs with an application called RunKeeper. If you get it in the month of January, it's free. Um, it's normally $9.99, but even if you have to pay for it, it's well worth it. Um, next, I'm using... Uh, Rip. I don't know if you can see that. That's an Iron Man um, heart rate monitor. It comes with a chest strap, which I'm wearing right now. That monitors your heart rate, um, intervals, I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff that I don't even know what it does. I bought it basically because it monitors your heart rate, and this one is supposed to uh, make it not interfere with other people. Um, which is going to be important to me down the road because I plan on competing in uh, 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, marathons. And the ultimate goal is um, an Ironman. And um, so we will keep you up to date on that. So uh, life sounds good. Uh, that's great. I'm going to I'm gonna keep going here. Um, like, like always, keep motivated, keep going. Like I said, uh, personal development is a small step each and every day. Everything starts with an action. You need to start that action and start moving towards it. Now, I can't go out there and run a marathon right now, but I will run a marathon. But it starts with training myself to be able to actually run again. And, and that's what I'm doing now. It stinks, it hurts, it sucks. I mean, I'm out there wheezing and my chest hurts and oh, it's just horrible. I'm trying to go faster and I can't. You know, I'm, I, I get discouraged a little bit, but then I pick myself back up and I say, you know what? I got to get through this so I can get to where I want to go. And uh, you can do it. You can get there as well. You just need to start. You need to get going. You need to take that first step. Thanks. My name's Shannon Heron. Hopefully I see you on the beaches of the world. And as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow.